First, I want to say congrats to East Texas Baptist. Um, they're always a formidable opponent, and I know this year they fought through just a whole lot of adversity. They play unbelievable defense, and so all week just getting ready for them. We talked a ton about their defense and uh, how hard it is to go against it. So just con congrats to them and the job that you know Blake does there. Uh, we have a lot of respect for those guys. Um, my team, I thought, just came out really ready to play. We looked sharp. Uh, one of the things that stood out on the stat sheet is we only had nine turnovers this game. So I thought we took care of the ball very well. We found quality shots. And even when we missed them, um, you know, if we're finding the quality shots, we feel really good about that. So girls did a great job of executing the game plan. We were able to kind of switch in and out of zone and man and kind of hopefully throw them off their rhythm a little bit offensively. Uh, and I just thought we came out and played super hard. Coach, your defense was just incredible. Held them to 29%. They didn't make more than four field goals in a quarter until the fourth and forced 18 turnovers, that type of intensity, I'm sure that was a focus coming into this. Absolutely, I mean, we get, uh, we found out we were gonna play them Tuesday night, and so for the last two days, we've really uh, locked in on what we were gonna do to try to slow them down, and, and including some kind of three-quarter court pressure was a part of that. I thought the girls did a good job of getting from that back into either half-court man or half-court zone, and uh, we contested their shooter super hard. We got we fouled someone on the three-point line, but I thought we knew the scout well, and we really played their personnel the right way, and that led to our success there. Savannah, you played 18 minutes, but you were very productive uh, during that time. Being in the ASC tournament, is, is this something, like this is your first experience with it. So th this, is, this was one of those things you kind of stepped up and performed today. Uh, I want you to describe the atmosphere that you felt in there, because it, it was pretty intense. I mean, it's really cool to play at home and have the student section and everything. It kind of just gave us more energy and let us just play how we wanted to play and gave us that extra boost. And so I definitely felt that and helped me. Were you nervous? A little bit, but then I kind of <laughs> just like, I kind of just like focused on like what I needed to do and was kind of just locked in. So. You guys have one of the best student sections. I, I go to a lot of places, but Students aren't always as into it. And Paris, I know I've been at UTD. They've got a decent student section. Sometimes this is this was incredible today, and I'm sure that provides a big lift for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the student section. That was <laughs> that was awesome, and that was what we needed to give us some confidence. So. Yeah. And uh, from you and your perspective, coming into this team this year, how how did it kind of gelled, and, and how do you see your team playing right now? Uh, I just feel like I feel like coach said this last week, but we're kind of just we're just keep on going up as the season's like kind of coming to an end, and that's where you want to be. And so um, <clears throat> I think we're always focusing on what we can get better at week by week, um, and never just staying content with where we are. And so yeah, we're just getting better and better. So yeah, it's exciting. Coach, you've had two battles with UMHB already this year. Last week, each one on the opposing floor. So what's it going to take for you guys to defend home court tomorrow? Yeah, we got to play a great game. I mean, they're an awesome opponent. They have really great players, very skilled athletes. Um, at the end of the last game where we played them on their home court, I was talking to people and just said, hey, we had, that was a game full of great players making great plays. Uh, and so that's what it will take tomorrow. I mean, I think that we have the added help, hopefully, of this home crowd coming back out and giving us that energy boost that these two have talked about. Uh, but we're going to have to really focus in and lock down on defense and then hit hard shots.